Hi, I'm Owen Sweeney. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about geolocation. Geolocation in its essence is basically just looking at a photo or a video, a piece of content, then going to a mapping application, finding similar objects and being able to say, yes, this is where it claims to be or no, it's not. It's one of my favorite things in the whole verification process because it can be very satisfying. You can get 100% visual confirmation of the information you need. And it's often quite fun. It reminds me a little bit of a mix of detective work and doing puzzles. So what are the things you need to do to geolocate a piece of content? Well, on the most basic level, you simply look for distinctive objects and features in a video or photograph. Then you try to find those on a mapping application and say, yes, this is the same place, or no, this is actually somewhere else. It can also be helpful to compare the layout of these things in relation to one another, because if they're quite common objects or not particularly distinctive, there may be more than one of them in an area. So you need to check where are they in relation to one another. And when you look at this freeze frame in this video, we've stopped it at a point where we can see some quite distinctive objects. It claims to be a demonstration in Mexico City on a street called Paseo de la Reforma. Now, I stopped it at this point because you've got this very good view of several distinctive buildings and a big tree there beside one of them that may also be available to you. When you go to Paseo de la Reforma in Google Maps, get down to Street View and move around a little bit, you can eventually get to exactly this spot. And you can know that because you can see buildings here. It almost looks like the same as the free freeze frame in the video. Uh, so at this point in Google Street View, you are pretty much standing on the same spot where the person shooting that video was. You see the distinctive buildings in the background, the long building closer up, and even that big tree that's next to it. So what do you look for when you're looking for distinctive objects? Street layouts are very helpful. You have here an elevated highway. You could have an intersection or an alleyway or a specific layout of streets. Statues and monuments are very helpful because not only are they distinctive, but you can also put the names of them into search engines and maybe get yourself into the right area. Architectural details, buildings that have a pretty distinctive shape. You may even be able to recognize them from a satellite view. So these help also. Street signs, shop fronts, and so on are helpful because they have text. Again, you can search for them. Sometimes you'll even see an address or maybe even a phone number on one of them. And license plates on vehicles are helpful. Yes, vehicles do move around from one place to another. But for example, if all the license plates look like they're from India and the video is claimed to be from the United States, well, then that's a strong hint that something suspicious is going on. Google Maps will generally be all you need because it's very detailed, it has a huge index of imagery, and it's also very user-friendly. But there will be times when it's helpful to use other apps. For example, Bing Maps from Microsoft has some alternative views of areas that Google may not have. And sometimes it has high resolution in certain areas where it might be a little bit lower in other apps, and vice versa. Yandex maps from Russia can be very good in Eastern Europe. So if you're looking for stuff from Belarus or Ukraine or Russia or one of these countries, Yandex often has the best imagery available. And then on a regional basis, there will be ones that because of their presence in a region, they're particularly good for material from that area. For example, Baidu or neighbor maps. It's crucial to pay very close attention. It should go without saying. So when you do get a photo, Look carefully all around the photo. Look for little details that may be a giveaway and tell you where something is. If you're looking at a video, yes, of course, you do want to look at the incident in the video first. But when you start to watch the video again, ignore the main incident. Look into the background and try to find things. Because a video is moving all the time, of course, pause often as well. And particularly with YouTube, this is very easy. You just pause the video. And then you can go forward one frame at a time or backward one frame at a time using your keyboard. So if you pause the video, you can also do that using the space bar. You can go forward one frame at a time with the full stop key and back one frame at a time with the comma key. And this allows you to look at things very, very carefully and pick out details. Then we are talking about, a, about visual work where you're looking at images, but don't forget to look at the accompanying texts because they may help you home in on the general area. In this case, it says police clash with protesters at Bangkok's democracy monument. It's very easy to search for that in, for example, Google Maps. 
This will bring you into the right area. There's also a clue there because it says it's Democracy Monument. Even if you don't know this, you can look through the video and see, can you spot something that looks like a monument? In this case, I got to this point of the video, and there up on the top right, that looks like a monument to me. You go into uh, Google Street View of the same area, and sure enough, you can find exactly the same object, confirming that this is in Bangkok at the Democracy Monument. Then sometimes on aerial views, you can get a much clearer view by removing the labels. The labels can be helpful for bringing you into the right area in the first place because it tells you what things are. But once you get into that area, if you go over to the left here, you get a drop down and you can turn off the labels. Once you do that, you have a much clearer view of the details. So here's our challenge for you. We've given you a link here to a video. I want you to have a look at the video then try to find a street view in Google Maps that allows you to confirm the location of where this incident took place. Once you've done that, take a screen grab of whatever view you have that you can say to us certainly, yes, this is definitely the same area. You can see something on the screen grab from the street view that you can also see in the video. So good luck with it. Uh, I hope you enjoy this challenge. It's the kind of one I usually do. And we'll see you next time. If you have any questions, you can email the organizer or you can contact me directly. We'll do our best to get back to you as quickly as possible with the best information we have. Thank you very much.